Hey guys, Remote Animation here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this 3D intro using a mobile app. And to start this off, we created a new project in Prisma 3D. And after creating a new project, the first thing I did was to model a brush. And what I had in mind for this brush was to make an animation of the brush painting out remote animation on a surface. And after rigging the bristles, I needed some ink on the brush. So I made a copy of the bristles to get out that base shape, then I modified it a little bit to look like ink. After that, I added in the surface and some lights. Then I went straight to posing the brush. And I was going to need some ink to actually show on the surface. So I went over to a light motion to make an ink texture. Then I brought that texture back into Prisma 3D and animated it to match the flow of the brush. Then I brought in an image texture of the final product and a semicircle. And the reason for the semicircle is to give the illusion that the brush was painting in a full circle. And from the camera's perspective, it was looking really nice. Then I animated a simple switch between the image texture and the brush strokes. Then did some more camera animation and rendered the first final clip. And that was it for the first shot. For the second shot, I started out by making a text object of the word remote. Then I brought in a simple plane and gave it some bumps. The next thing I did was to color the bumps and add in some spotlights. Then I made a lot of copies to that singular bump to fill out an entire wall. Then I added in some more lights to make the shot look better. Well, I needed my text to have a glowing outline. So using the modeling tools, I modified a duplicate of the text to be able to wrap up its copy. Then I put it back on my scene I was looking amazing. So I tweaked the background a little bit and went straight to animating the camera. After I was done with that, I rendered out the final clip and took this clip and the previous clip over to CapCut for the final edits. 